I would now like to invite Dr. Yasu, Yasuyuki Sawada, Chief Economist and Director General, Asian Development Bank, to give the opening remarks. Dr. Sawada, please. Uh, Vice Dean uh, Kuo, uh, His Excellencies, uh, panel participants, ladies and gentlemen, uh, very good morning. Uh, on behalf of the Asian Development Bank, I'm honored uh, to welcome you this morning um, uh, to launch ADB's annual Asian Economic Integration Report 2017, or in short, AEIR uh, 2017. Our program uh, today will include a presentation of the report, a panel discussion with some of the uh, region's top researchers and experts on regional economies, and then an uh, open floor discussion. I'd like to thank uh, the Lee Kuan Yew uh, School of Public Policy for its unusual uh, great hospitality and support for today's launch. This year's AEIR highlights what the region's economies and cooperation programs have achieved and will achieve further by leveraging greater regional cooperation and integration towards shared prosperity. Before we present the main messages and findings of the report, let me give you a brief overview of how Asian economic cooperation integration is progressing. In short, despite increasing, uh, increasingly challenging and inward-looking uh, global policy environment, it's heartening to see Asia continuing its trend towards greater cooperation and economic integration. The 10-member ASEAN Economic Community was officially launched at the end of 2015, and it continues to gain traction as free trade moves from goods to services, uh, spanning sectors from banking to tourism. ASEAN Plus Li, uh, which adds uh, China, Japan, Korea, has deepened its initiatives on developing local currency bond markets and continues to look at how best to bolster its financial safety net, Chennai Initiative Materialization, and also its research support arm, uh, the ASEAN Plus 3 Macroeconomic Research Office, AMRO. In South Asia, South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation is increasingly active, particularly through sub-regional programs like ADP-supported South Asia Sub-Regional Economic Cooperation, or in short, SASEC, and the Bay of the Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral uh, Technical and Economic Cooperation, or BIMSTEC, which includes ASEAN members uh, Myanmar and Thailand. Uh, the Central Asia uh, Regional Economic Cooperation Program, or in short, CARIC, uh, also with ADB support, has strengthened um, uh, cooperation in the four priority areas of first, transport, second, trade facilitation, third, energy, and fourth trade policy. CARIC will hold its 16th ministerial conference this coming Friday, 27th October, uh, in Dushanbe, uh, uh, Tajikistan. Uh, and uh, actually, I'm heading after this uh, uh, conference. And Pacific Islands Forum held its most recent summit in Samoa last month, prioritizing climate change and resilience. I should add that Fiji will be presenting, presiding uh, the, as presidency of COP23 at the UN Climate Change Conference next month in Bonn. Asia's current external outlook is becoming more positive. The global economic recovery is gaining uh, traction, while upside and downside risks to economic growth are more or less balanced. Uh, world trade is experienced uh, world trade is expected to recover uh, uh, this year, uh, even if trade growth remained below income growth following further slowdown last year. The trend of regional cooperation and integration is also gaining momentum. It has provided a buffer against a fallout from weak global economic recovery and increasingly inward-looking policies around the world. Asia's interregional trade share, measured by value, uh, rose to 57.3% uh, in 2016 from 56.9% uh, in 2015, up from an uh, average 55.9% during 2010 to 2015. The interregional share of foreign direct investment, FDI, 
uh, also grew to 55.3% in 2016 from 47.6% in previous year, even as total FDI to the region fell uh, by 6%. Uh, Asia's cross-border bank claims increased to 4.4 trillion from 4.1 trillion. Asia's international tourism received increasing income from other Asian economies, with more than 70% of Asia's outbound tourists now traveling within the region. Asia is increasingly investing globally, with outward FDI from the region accounting for about one-third of global FDI. Asia's outward FDI rose 11% in 2016 to uh, 482 billion from uh, 434 billion in 2015. China, Japan, and Hong Kong, China were among the world's top 10 global investors in 2016. Combined, their outward FDI reached 391 billion or 81% of the total outward. World FDI from Asia. Emerging, Asia. emerging Asian investors such as India, Korea, Malaysia, Singapore, and Thailand are also expanding their global presence in renewable energy, uh, semiconductors, natural resources, information technology, and food, among others. This year's report has several new features. To better monitor progress, AIR 2017 introducing new index. Asia Pacific Regional Cooperation and Integration Index, a new composite index that allows a comparative analysis of six RCI dimensions, including first, trade and investment, second, money and finance, third, regional value chains, uh, four, uh, infrastructure, collectivity, five, movement of people, and finally, institutional and social integration. This composite index also allows analysis across sub-regional sub, uh, sub groups and economies, and it's expected to help policymakers better understand and measure the levels uh, used for uh, greater regional integration and cooperation. AEIR 2017 also includes a special chapter on how best to enhance regional financial resilience as global financial systems become more interconnected. Uh, this is titled, Era of Financial Interconnectedness. How can Asia strengthen financial resilience? As we can see from the subtitle of this year's report. Uh, this uh, a special chapter examines structural weakness of the region's financial systems, existing and um, uh, emerging vulnerabilities, and the role of increasingly more pronounced and procyclical financial cycles and growing financial interconnectedness play. It reviews uh, the lessons from past crises and remaining policy gaps for further structural reform that can be strengthened uh, region's financial resilience. The AEIR is one of ADB's main flagship publications and knowledge products. Admittedly, the scope of challenges and opportunities for the region, uh, financial development and integration remains much broader than one uh, issue can cover. But uh, we hope this report provides uh, useful insights that will stimulate further debates and studies across academia and policymakers, uh, policymaking forums. Uh, I look forward to your active participation and feedback during the roundtable and open forum that will follow the presentation of AEIR 2017. With that, I'd like to end my uh, uh, remarks. Uh, thank you very much.